Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of HVAC system design tutorial with the channel of the world of building design. So in this tutorial and in the continuation of the uh, psychrometric chart uh, tutorial, uh, we uh, learned about the psychrometric parameters uh, in the previous tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the dehumidification. So uh, we're going to look at uh, one example on uh, how the dehumidification happens and uh, what is the um, uh, water content that is removed from air when we cool down the air. So in this example, we are considering a makeup air unit. So I'm going to go to the example and review that with you. So as you can see, um, we have a makeup air unit. So the makeup air unit provides 100% fresh air to the space. So it has a capacity of 20,000 CFM or cubic feet per minute of air. And um, so the, the location where we, we install this unit is where the summer design condition is the outdoor temperature of 95 degree Fahrenheit dry bulb and 80 uh, percent relative humidity of outdoor air. Remembering from the previous tutorial, we said that if you have two points on the psychrometric chart, you can get all the other points uh, if needed for uh, solving the uh, you know the process you're working on. So now what we want to calculate is the a rate of dehumidification, meaning that we are uh, absorbing or we are condensing uh, water off of the airstream uh, because uh, that happens normally during the cooling process. Um, and we want to get that in, in the unit of uh, GPM or gallon per minute. So the discharge air condition we're going to get after our cooling coil would be 60 degree Fahrenheit dry bulb and 50 percent relative humidity. Actually, that's our desired discharge air temperature and relative humidity. So the first thing we have to do is we have to plot these two points on a psychrometric chart. So I'm going to do that. So 95 degree and 80 percent relative humidity is our first point. So I'm going to select point. I'm going to go to 95 degree dry bulb from the bottom uh, scale on the horizontal line and I'm just going to go this all the way up until I hit the 80% uh, relative humidity. So this curves, as you can see, these are representative of relative humidity. And right at this point is where I have my 80% um, relative humidity at our outdoor condition. Then, um, actually, I want to show with the dashed line where the the connections are so I'm going to continue from this point all the way to here I have done this already so I'm going to just use that same line and just bring it horizontal to to this point so the reason why we do this is because we want to get some other numbers such as our humidity ratio or wet ball temperature so this is our outdoor condition and then after the coil condition is also a point that we need to plot it so 60 degree at 50% relative humidity. I'm going to just change the color to say blue here and go to 60% relative humidity, sorry, 60% uh, dry bulb temperature here and then go up all the way to find my uh, 45, 40, you have to go to 50% relative humidity. So on the curve, I'm looking at all of these curves, so this is Okay, this is 25, 30, so let's go up here. So I'm going to just terminate it right at this point where I have the curve line of 50% relative humidity. So let me go back and check if we are on the right curve. Right, this is 50% relative humidity. Okay, so once we determine that, we have to consider that what happens here is that a cooling process takes place, meaning that we not only do the latent heat removal from the, from the air stream, we also do the sensible um, cooling here. So the sensible cooling, as we discussed in the previous tutorial, is represented by a horizontal line on the psychrometric chart. It means that we come from 95 degree all the way to 60 degree, 
So if you imagine a horizontal line here, so the pure sensible is a 35 degree difference here. And then the latent temperature difference is between this point at 60. Let me just also the con make a continuation here from here all the way to, to this line, as you can see. And I'm going to make this line a dashed line. So what happens is if you cool down from point A to this point B after the coil, you also remove a considerable volume of water content or mass of water from air, which is represented by a vertical line here from point A right to this point where the intersection here is. And as you can see on the right hand side, we have this much from the vertical line if you can see this much uh, water removal. So just by the length of this line, if you see the length of this line on the vertical line compared to horizontal line that you can see, the latent heat removal is a lot longer on the line compared to the horizontal line here. So we, we, can, we can calculate the sensible heat ratio in the future, but the focus of this tutorial would be the water removal um, from the air stream through this cooling process. So when you cool down the air, you cool it down all the way to the saturation curve here, which is um, a line that as soon as you hit this curve at 100% dew point, you can come down all the way and see at what point you start saturating the, uh, the water content of the air. And then you, you move on the dew point curve to get to, to the humidity level at point B, which is number 60, is on the dry ball. Uh, so what happens is that we have to now get into a number of equations to, to make this calculation. So we extended these lines, so we get two points. We get the humidity ratio at point 2 and humidity ratio at point A. Remember that we also need to get the uh, specific volume of air at point A as well. So how are we going to do that? So as you can see, these lines are representative of the specific volume. I'm going to draw a parallel line here. Just go and change the, this to green color. Just for reference, I'm going to use any of this specific volume just for the sake of accuracy. I want to put this line on top of one of these lines, doesn't matter which one it is, I just wanted to make it accurate right on this top of blue line. Okay. Once I've done, done that, I'm going to move this from here because I want it to be parallel. I'm going to move it and I'm going to bring all the way to where this line is located or at the intersection of this point. Okay. So as you can see now, this green line is right at the parallel line of these blue lines. And now I want to read uh, the specific volume. So the specific volume on the lower side, on the left side, is 14.5 cubic feet per pound of air, dry air. And then on the right hand side, my specific volume is 15 uh, cubic feet per pound of air. So I have to do some level of judgment to assume or estimate what this number falls in between these two lines. I'm going to take it as 14.6 uh, cubic feet um, per pound of dry air. Okay? So now getting all of these additional parameters or characteristic of the air at these two points, the other parameter is the humidity ratio that I need. So this line, humidity ratio, in this case, it's around 205 uh, grain, grain of water per pound of dry air. And in the point of number two, this is about 37 um, on this line of um, pound of water per grain of water per pound of dry air. So then I'm going to record this information. And so in this page, we have the uh, other parameters that we got from the psychrometric chart and we get the uh, condition as you know 
Uh, we got the humidity ratio from the psychrometric chart and also we got the specific volume from the psychrometric chart as 14.6 cubic feet per pound of dry air. And also we got the humidity ratio at the second point or our discharge air condition after the cooling coil. So the first thing we need to do is to get the, uh, uh, the humidity ratio difference between the point one and two. So obviously we remove uh, water content from the moist air and that's happening at the rate of 168 grain of water per pound of dry air. So that's the difference between the point one and point two. Uh, and then every 7,000 grain of water is uh, equal to one pound of dry air. Um, you know, there are some uh, background information you can search and find out about how this conversion factor has been achieved, but that's uh, the way it is, um, it is uh, shown up. So we have to get this, um, you know, converted into the pound of uh, dry water. Actually, this is pound of water. Correction. Um, so we have to divide our 168 by 7,000 uh, so we get the actual pound of water per pound of dry air. So that's basically the conversion here. And then what the way we calculate the condensate rate or the dehumidification rate or water per minute is by multiplication of mass rate of our air, total air, multiplied by um, the difference of the humidity ratio as calculated above. So you can see pound of dry air divided by uh, pound of dry air per minimum per minute, which is the first term multiplied by pound of water divided by pound of dry air. So from this calculation, we can get our, uh, you know, the, the rate of uh, dehumidification. So first we have to calculate our, um, you know, mass rate of our air based on the total air passing through the cooling coil. So we had the CFM, as you remember, Dividing that by a specific volume that we read from the psychrometric chart, uh, we can calculate the mass rate of our air. So 20,000 CFM of air divided by 14.6, which we read from the psychrometric chart at the condition one, we get 1369.9 uh, pound of dry air per minute. And now we have to continue with this equation here by multiplying uh, by multiplying the uh, mass rate of air multiplied by this um, difference of the humidity ratio. So we get the 32.87 pound of water per minute is removed from air. So as you can see, it's, it's a very simple uh, calculation and uh, by knowing few equations, you can simply calculate this. And then now we want to convert this from um, pound of water per minute to gallon per minute. So the, the estimated um, one gallon is equal to almost 8.34 pound. Um, so the conversion factor, you just divide and you get the uh, total GPM of water removed from the air per minute. So 3.94 GPM uh, is the rate of condensation of the water from air. So we, we uh, dehumidify at this rate. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and we will continue with the psychrometric topic uh, in the other area for the cooling and heating process in the future. Thank you.